This is a first tutorial about stock trading, investing in the stock market. It would be impossible in 10 minutes to explain all that there is to know about investing in stocks, but I'll give you a little bit of information about the basics. The first thing that you do if you want to invest in the stock market is you create a brokerage account. You contact a brokerage firm, and there are quite a few of them. Um, I'll probably put up some kind of information about the various brokerage firms. And you start an account with them, much like a bank account. You deposit a certain amount of money, or you send a check a certain amount of money, to open an account with a brokerage firm. And once the check is cleared, the brokerage firm will let you trade stocks, buy and sell stocks. I do it on the internet, some people do it by telephone, some people do it by going to the office of the brokerage company in person. If I trade stocks uh, on the internet, it costs me about $10 to buy stocks or $10 to sell stocks, no matter how many shares I'm buying or selling. If I, for example, buy 100 shares of McDonald's stocks, and let's just say McDonald's is selling for $50 a share, that'd be $5,000 for the stocks plus $10 for the trade. $9.99, $10. So that'd be $5,000, $10 to get in. And then suppose the next day the stock goes up to $51. And I just said, oh boy, I got a $100 profit there. I'm going to sell. So you sell your 100 shares at $51 a share and you pay $10 for the cost of the sale of the shares. So then your 100 shares of McDonald's, which cost you $5,010, and you sold for $5,100, and you deduct 10, meaning you sold it for $5,090, you actually made $80 on that deal. Usually you don't buy and sell stocks in a one day period of time. I have a web page, uh, three web pages actually, but uh, if you just go to myhollywoodstar.com slash stocks with a small s dot html, there are links to two other pages. Nowhere do I give um, any advice on what stock to buy. The, I mentioned McDonald's. I don't recommend McDonald's. I don't not recommend McDonald's. I don't even know what McDonald's is selling for right now. I do not own McDonald's. There's what is known as the Dow 30, 30 stocks, which when a newscaster is telling you, well, the stock market was down today, well, the stock market was up today, the stock market's up five points, they're talking about the Dow 30. Dow means Dow Jones, that's a company. The Dow Jones 30 industrial stocks, there are 30 stocks that they keep track of on a daily basis, and they have a way of what they call weighing the stocks. They balance out the value of all these 30 stocks and they say well it looks like the stock market is up today based on these 30 stocks maybe one stock went way up and every other stock went down but the one stock that went way up had enough movement upwards to carry the entire market with it and the same could be true if a stock went down a lot while every other stock went up ever so slightly the market might be down that day there's also an S&P 500 index. I will, I will get into details on things like that uh, more with future tutorials. I'll just tell you that if you're going to buy stocks, study them for at least a year before you make any investment. Always diversify. Don't put all your money into one stock, even though it might have worked for Bill Gates because he founded Microsoft and he made his money on Microsoft. Don't expect that to happen with some stock your grandmother recommends. Don't listen to your grandmother. Don't listen to any expert when they give you a tip about a hot stock. It's going to go up, sure thing. Study the market. Figure out which stock you want to buy and research that stock. And when you think you know enough about it, go ahead and buy it. But I would wait at least a year before I invested any money. Also, uh, don't have any credit card debt. Before you invest in the stock market, pay off credit card debt. Uh, don't 
put all your money into the stock market. You want to have some money in real estate, some money uh, in things that make you happy. Uh, do you like apple pie? Eat apple pie. Spend, spend money on things you like. That's true wealth. True wealth is when you are making yourself happy and it's not a number. If you had a million dollars tomorrow but you couldn't get apple pie and you liked apple pie, then uh, a million dollars wouldn't uh, be enough to make you happy. You have to do the things that make you happy and make you healthy and make you content and make you uh, carefree, don't have stress in your life. That's the true wealth. Then you go into the stock market and you play it like a slot machine. Have fun with it. If you lose something, don't lose any sleep over it. Um, more to follow.